Gang, it's me, Mikey Pipes. Today is Tuesday, December 7th, 2021. It is 1140 in the morning. I have the other mic. I have Peter Pan and I have Daniel. They are doing a furnace and evaporator coil swap out for a customer in, um, in the five towns. They're gonna be there today and they're gonna go back on Thursday to bang out the other uh, HVAC system swap out. And I got them started there. I'm gonna run some service calls for the remainder of the day. And right now I am in Arvern, which is part of the Rockaways. I'm heading over to Rockaway Park and I have a, um, a multi-family attached dwelling structure that has no heat in the top floor. Speed trap. So I know they got uh, a couple gas-fired boilers for each apartment, and uh, we'll see what's going on. All right, so hopefully I'll get some footage, some video. Hopefully, hopefully we learn from one another, and also throw in some entertainment then in there as well. Guys, if you guys want any stickers, versions one, two, three, and four are all available. I am extending the Cyber Monday giveaway for the entire month of December. So you're gonna get all four stickers for $10, a donation of $10. There you go, and I'll ship anywhere in the world by first class mail. All right, let's go over to the service call, get the, get the camera rolling, and get some great content for tonight's premiere. All right, let's go. Figured I'd show you guys a little bit of the scenery. Right now I'm on Beach 91st on Rockaway Beach Boulevard. Uh, it's been a while since I've been down here. But it's, <laughs> it is a whole nother world over here. A whole nother world. And we have the ocean right there. We got the Crossbray Bridge over there. It brings you to Howard Beach. And I'm gonna head over to Beach 100th Street and uh, give these people some uh, heat on the top floor. Beautiful day today, beautiful day. Really beautiful day. Looks like they haven't been uh, canceled yet. Stupid cancel culture. Idiots. Hi. Yeah. I know you? Yeah, Max, remember? Ralph Super? Uh, hey, you've been here two times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I got about a thousand properties in here. Sorry, no. <laughs> you came here but twice. We have a problem this day after day. Okay, what's wrong now? Um, I couldn't tell you. It's just not turning on. I'm gonna get the light for you. Okay, thank you. Well, you gonna duck down here? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this unit here, I uh, I shut it off because uh, you know you just turn the gas back on. I don't want to, God forbid, have something happen. Okay. I only shut it off from here. Understood. Thermostat's on or off right now? Uh, it should be off upstairs. Okay. What's happening is like when I put it on the stairs, you know, when it calls for heat, you should get mm -hmm. like that little buzzing noise like it wants to turn on. It's not, yep. it's not doing that. Okay. And the thermostat is off right now? It's off. If you want me to set it on, I'll go upstairs. Oh, yeah, if you could. Yeah. You wouldn't mind. I got the key still. All right. Appreciate that. No problem. I'll just, you know, I'll set it high like 79, 80. Yeah, as long as it's higher than what it's reading. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty this cold. Good. Thermostat right there. Let's see if we touch these two together. All right, the damper's open though. See the damper? It's open. But is that in the manual open position? It is in the automatic. Actually, no, it's in the it's in the manual open position. Okay. So there we have that. Now, if I were to take these two together. I hear something. See? My low water cutoff light is not illuminated. See that? Low water cutoff light is not illuminated. And somebody decided to use pipe, uh, PTFE tape on there. See the blue monster tape? No bueno. All right, the rest that's definitely calling now. All right, let's... Troubleshoot. Get a tool bag. See what's going on here. All right. This is TT. All right. Which then goes to there. Oh, 
block then switch. Maybe. Hmm. All right, continuity from thermostat and block vent switch. No 24 volts to burner circuit. Dead control. All right. So how's your uh, holiday been so far? You got all that? All right. I have no choice in the matter. I You're an MTA, right? Yeah. You don't get it. <laughs> down my throat. Stay home. Tell them, you know. Yes. Crazy. And my wife, she works at the school bus company, so same thing with her. Yep. Yeah, they're making everyone uh, get it. Then, you know, my parents, they got health issues too, so I think it's better for me. Yeah, to it's best, you know, keep yeah. everyone healthy, protect them. But, yeah, I don't think this is going away for quite some while, quite a while, though, you know what I mean? Yeah. We're going to be going through this for a while. <laughs> My mom and dad in the late 70s, now I just want to keep alive. Oh, wow, yeah, God bless him. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So the other boiler's fine, right? Yeah, we've got heat and everything, and she has heat down here. Perfect. So that's what we're working on. Excellent. Yeah, so it's not, it's very, I looked up the history and about five years ago we replaced, I think, the other one. This yeah. boiler, the intelligent boiler controller. Yeah, right, you did. Yeah, and, um, and now it looks we're replacing this one and it sucks. And the guy's, uh, the guy's, um, agreement expired. Oh, it did? Yeah, this has got papers out of pocket. Expired in June. I was gonna love that. Yeah, he knows, though. <laughs> You know, uh, selling this building too. Yeah? Yeah. Well, it wasn't getting rid of it. I don't, I don't know. Not making enough money? <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's been empty upstairs for quite some time. Oh. So then, uh, it's been cold. I guess you just got tired of everything. I hear you. Well, it's a three family, right? Yeah. It's right down here. Also in the middle floor, of somebody upstairs. So, yeah, I guess. That's being a little late for everyone. Yeah, uh, he had another building on 63rd. I think you saw that too already. Oh, yeah? yeah. What I understand, he wants to want to move out of the state. So, uh, that, that might have something to do with it. That probably does. Most people want to get out of New York State. Do I get Yeah. I got nine years left till I retire. I'm out of here. <laughs> Don't blame you. Don't blame you. Listen, you used to got a city, you know, you got that city job. You got that pension when it comes through, you know? Yeah, it's it. You got all that, you're good. You were MTA, right? Yeah. yeah. Above ground or below ground? Right. Above ground or below ground? Uh, I'm actually above ground right now. Alright. So I work, I work with subways. Subways? Yeah. Nice. Most of my line runs are above ground. Okay. You, um, you, uh, conductor, engineer? Yeah, I'm the engineer. I drive, I drive. You drive the train? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> It's funny, I've always wanted to do it since I was a kid, and now I'm doing it. <laughs> now you're doing it. Driving the train. Until my parents are going up, I said, yeah, I want to drive a train, and I get old. I didn't have to drive until about 15 years ago. Good for you. <laughs> See, was, I was actually a teacher at first. Really? Yeah, I was teaching on a special ed in Manhattan for like nine years. Get out of here. So then uh, I took this test when you have to get to be an engineer. I was like, I ain't going to call me much. Five years later, they called me. Wow. I was like, shit, I think I'm going to shine. Good for you. It's nice. It's 25 years I'm out. I have the age at a time. Very nice. And get the hell out of here. Yeah, my Get the hell out of Dodge. My nine years uh, come to the end of my pension with the other job, too. So that's all great. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Me and my wife will be empty nest this soon, that's it. <laughs> it's a great feeling, man. Me and my wife are that way right now. It's awesome. <laughs> I'm waiting for that. Still, oh, man. shit. 
It's awesome. I love it. And I don't want them coming back. Just, just come back, you know, come visit for a day or something, you know? Just, no, no, it's good, you know? No, no, your room has become the new den, you know? <laughs> Sorry. It's all my son. I said, yeah, you know, they need like a computer room, a little office. Yeah. Yeah, when you, when you moved out, <laughs> we reclaimed and repurposed your, your room. Like, what you mean? Yeah, we love you and shit, but you yeah, know. but you know, you got your own place now. You don't need to, you know. Uh, got your own job, your own place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no, it's not fun at home. There's no fun here. You gotta be. You gotta be at home. That's why they don't want to leave. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know. Uh, you know this. This. Uh, this digital aquaset, this is the, the worst, by the way. But they give you just enough room to hang yourself, you know? Yeah, it's, it's like Halfway done with control wiring. Like did I process. really do that? Yes, I did. I am an effing idiot. I am an idiot. No big deal. Let's just take this out of there. I used to do repairs with my own muscle cars. Like, they give you just enough room to get a damn wrench in it. <laughs> yeah. No spots. Oh, shh. All right, I'll find it. Get over here. Ah. There it is. Okay. No, oh, God, I'm getting too old for this. Okay. Now, let's move over these wires where they belong. Get over there, buddy. Come on. Yeah, this area is becoming hot. Yeah. You can get top dollar. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, the two doors down, they, they sold that one. So we sold that for a three penny. That was a three penny one. Wow. So they on some Asian couple doing. Huh. It's crazy. So they're renovating and stuff. You know, they're going to get top dollar for those apartments. Yep. Block away from the ocean. Yep. You know? Peaceful yeah. over here. Quiet. You know? Yeah. You know, what could, you know, it's... Get better people moving in. Well, people take care of their homes, you know. Hopefully. Have good jobs, hopefully. You know, pay the bills, pay the tax man. You know. There's a lot of these surfer types that are moving over here now. Yeah, it's crazy. And that Auburn by the sea with that. Damn! Like, we're talking about a million dollars and over. Yeah, it's nuts over there. And they keep building. And they keep coming. They're going east. Yeah, yeah, they're getting closer to Far Rockaway. Yeah. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Auburn, Far Rockaway. <laughs> yeah, it's Auburn by the sea. And now, yeah, 11691 is going to be straight Auburn. You're going to see all that empty land over there? Yeah. They're going to build there. They're building there. I figured they would. It's be been place. empty. It's been empty forever. Forever. Like, kind of like have to. All right? There's no such thing as empty land anymore, you know? When I was younger, I took the A train to the Rockways. It was like in the 80s, 80s. There was still a dump out there. Nope. It's like a dump. Yep. And now look at it. All built up. I got buildings and shit. Buildings. It's supposed to be making a new park there, basketball courts. Yep. All right. Now, there's this one. Now, the ground. We'll do that in a minute. I'll put that off to the side for right now. Now, we have thermostat. Thermostat is here. All right. So I got you anything to drink here, right? No, I'm good. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. check out the van over there. Yeah. Well, they gave her our tickets already now. I'm good. Yeah, when the, when the sweeper comes by, they got a sanitation cup with it. Oh, yeah? Keep an eye on that one, too. Oh, man. They're hungry. <laughs> well, I guess it's a good thing you're here. Saving your your, your uh, landlord some money. All right, I got to use the the Nipix. and I got the Klein crimper. They came already. Oh, okay. Yeah, we should be out of here shortly. Hopefully. He knows me pretty well, so he's all right. That's good. This in. 
Okay, one more window. I mean, that window. one more nut from the BX. Where is the nut from the BX? There it is. is for the block to vent switch. Over here next door, his uh, second floor tennis went down on him. Yeah, they destroyed the place. Oh man, he's actually gotten it. Oh, I was like, man, I just got to be caught at least 20 grand easy. Yeah, for sure. I saw the pictures he showed me. Pictures. I was like, I can't believe these people did that. Freaking animals. All right, there's our call for heat. Freaking animals. All right, that's rough. Yeah, well, yeah, actually, he's working on it. Let this thing boot up. All right. Thank you, Honeywell. We're Houston. We have ignition. We have ignition down there. Okay. Let's talk about what transpired here in the past hour. This hydrostat by Hydro Level. That one was on this Slantfin Century boiler, 90,000 BTU boiler. About five years ago, we replaced that one on that boiler. And today, we found that that one died. So fortunately, the part is in the truck. Just one, by the way. I put this thing in, and there's a light that's right above the damper connection. See the damper power was flashing. And nowhere in the manual did it tell you what to do about that. So I immediately suspected maybe there's something wrong with the damper. Maybe, just maybe there's something wrong with the damper, right? So I take a new damper out of the truck. Right there. All right, and it doesn't do anything. Same thing. All right. So then I call them the first time. Their phone number is listed right there, all right? I call Hydro Level. They're in New Haven, Connecticut. See that? Call that number, that 203 number. Called it once, left a voicemail message. Five minutes go by, I called back again. Didn't leave a message, called back again. I pressed number three for Hydro Level customer support, who then transferred me to tech support, and I got the same response. Then I called back again five minutes later, and then finally left another message, and then Michael at Hydro Level called me back, but at that point, it was already too late. When I put in the included jumper, on this hydro level, right? That relay to the immediate little right of it started to smoke. And that was the end. So then I grabbed the Honeywell Aquastat relay from the truck and wired it, and it works. All I have to do now is wire circulator. And of course, the Honeywell Aquastat relay, which is significantly more than the uh, hydrostat by hydro level. Worked perfectly. Worked perfectly. Not as fancy with the bells and whistles and the LED display like the, uh, the hydro level, but Honeywell came through. You know, it's frustrating. And, you know, you spend, you know, a good, you know, half hour, 45 minutes diagnosing and then putting in a new part in to verify and validate that diagnosis so you can present 
you know, the, the client, the homeowner, a, uh, a proposal, for, you know, an estimate for the repairs, you know, up front. And, you know, you expect it to work perfectly fine. And then you putz around, you know, for a half hour, another 45 minutes trying to get it to work. And uh, it's just, you know, it's heartbreaking, especially like when through no fault of your own, it's just dead out of the box. And that's what happened with this hydro level, DOA. And what was even more frustrating is that when you call a manufacturer, you, know, you don't want to get a voicemail that old representatives are busy, leave a message, we'll call you back in the order received. We, I don't want to hear that. I want to hear that, you know, estimated wait time on hold is, you know, 15 minutes or four, whatever estimated wait time it is. That's what I want to know. I don't want to be leave a voicemail to call back. I'm sorry. That's not the way that it, it is. It just isn't. Walking like all over the streets, jaywalking and crap. But to Hydro Level's defense, they did call back, and that was after you know, the relay on their control started smoking, and I was already ripping it out and putting in the Honeywell. It is what it is. And the guy's question me, he's like, well, do you, are you sure you actually tested with a multimeter? Do you make sure that, that B1 and B2 had 24 volts, 26 volts? Like, Yes, I did, and I removed the wires from it, and it still wasn't 26 volts. And in your control, and in your flow chart, in your manual, it says, you know, one of the last things is like, you know, is, the aqu is, is there a call for heat? Yes. Is there 24 volts leaving B1, B2? The answer is no. And then it says replace control. Your control was dead out of the box. And that shows you, I, don't know, I guess, quality control issues, but I don't know, whatever. I'm just ranting. I'm just pissed off. You know, the last thing I want to do is double the, you know, the amount of time on a service call because of a defective product. It is what it is. Let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. How often does that happen to you? It doesn't have to be that often at all, but in the 20, 18 years that I have been doing plumbing and HVAC, well, plumbing, uh, that is the third hydro level control that I've replaced because they're really not out there. They're not, you know, the Honeywell relay is out there, but nonetheless, let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. You know, you have these complicated controls, digital, you got these displays on them and how often does it happen to you? Let's hear it, people. Let's hear you. Mikey Pipes wants to hear from the community because I'm so frustrated right now. It just really pisses me off. I'm just so pissed off at those freaks at Hydro Level. Like, ah! It is what it is. All right, be well, God bless, stay safe. But I decided, let's give them some dessert. Let's go to our next service call. It's me, Mikey Pipes, open up. Ooh la la! Come on in! Let's Ooh la in. la! Ooh la la! Ooh la Look la! Look what good advertising I give you when I have a problem in my house. And you're wearing yoga pants. And I'm wearing yoga pants. Get up here. <laughs> okay, I'm coming up to your. I'm coming up to your bedroom. I'm coming to your bedroom. Come on. This is Robbie's handiwork. It doesn't work. I think this we're is what alone he did. now. This is what he did. That's what he did. This doesn't work. This is what he bought. What was there before? This. That. I heard. Right I already see it. Yeah. This. <laughs> this. This antique. This. Could you use an antique like that? As a hockey puck? Yeah. Let me throw this out. Carolina, there's, there's a garbage up here. There's a reason why your husband is not here, and I am. <laughs> That's what he did. Is there is there something is this bad? This is not even This is not it's not gonna work unless actually you. you know what I could do? This is what we could do. I could tell you yeah. that you need to call an electrician and have him run a new wire. No no from, no 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 No? I just want you to fix it. I'm not calling. Well, what was the original problem? What prompted your husband to This he, is broken. That he, why did he think he could be Mikey Pipes? Because this antique over here. Says low battery. 
and we changed the battery. And it still said low battery. Right, and it wasn't turning the heat on. So now he went and uh, took it upon himself and bought this. Exactly, from Amazon. From Amazon. Uh-huh. And he supported Jeff Bezos. Yes. And we think that's the reason why you have no heat up here. Yeah, exactly. This is all Rob's calculations. And now, and if, if his wife was hot and during the summertime, and he replaced the thermostat, you'd be... So you want to hear something interesting, though? Yes. I'm, gonna, I'm off the subject of hot wife. When this, when he put this on, mm -hmm. it actually triggered the heat, but the but it was blank. You Correct. couldn't control... You know that? Because mm -hmm. oh. I'm going to show you. Somewhere here, by the way, and this is great content, by the way, for my YouTube channel, which you are, which you are uh, contributing to. That's good. Somewhere on this, it says that requires sea bat a sea wire, and you don't you don't have that. I don't have that. You don't have. We're it. not fancy here. No, I know. No, we're not fancy. Do you come with your own screwdrivers, or do you need? I have all. I have plenty of pipe. I have different type of drivers. I have nut drivers. I have ball cocks. I have silk cocks. Thank you. For me. <laughs> I got black nipples, Thank galvanized you. brass yeah. nipples. Yeah. Would you like a brass nipple? I don't care. Just get me heat up. <laughs> leave me the piece of paper there for what good reason? The manual. Just to leave it there. So, so you need. So if you have, <laughs> that's all the other mics calling me. Hi. Perfect. I hear, I hear it. No, because there's no drain. It's hot? Yeah, it's coming. It's coming? You feel it coming? I feel this. Okay. okay. So like even in here, like it has baseboard you want to replace from, and it goes all the way, it's, it's a lot of work. You want to start downstairs, let's take some measures. Okay. I'm now let me show you your thermostat first. This is a very nice, beautiful thermostat. It's so beautiful that you're going to think of me every time you see this. Okay, there we go. Why do you think of me every time you see this? It just says the pipe doctor. Mikey pipes. It doesn't say Mikey. It should say Mikey pipes, but it doesn't. Well, because that's right, just. So this is just up, down, heat, yeah. off. Yes, that's and all there's I a little backlit right there, and there's two batteries that are that control this. And if I have any questions, you can call the number right there during normal business hours, Monday through Thursday, from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Don't bother on, me. On Friday, from 8 a.m. to 2, and and on Get Saturday, out. Sundays we're closed. Get out. Okay. <laughs> I'll call you when I. There's no problems, only solutions. Okay, so solve my solutions. Make a solution to my problem. This one, see, it looks so it's, ugly. It's the, the, the foobar. The foobar. You know what foobar stands for? Huh. Fucked up beyond all right. Yes, exactly. And that was disgusting. It's terrible. It really So now this one here is a prime candidate to, candidate to also replace the element inside. See how damaged the element is? And then it adds more time to the job. I know you don't care, but it affects the heat performance. See, these are terrible. There's but I can also, we can also just reattach them. We can use that one. Yeah, I could, I could probably make that pretty again, but you know, just as long as you don't touch it. Well, use some. The problem is the vacuum cleaner goes into it, everything knocks into it, and then it's off again. I agree. So. I'll talk to Robbie and see what he wants to do. He wants to change it, it drives him. Crazy more than me. I know. That drives me crazy. He's coming back to fix that too. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so what are you doing? You're not measuring yet? No, I'm gonna talk to Robbie first. Okay, fine. You don't trust me then? No, I thought they don't trust you. We'll talk to Robbie first. Trust me. I think you don't trust me. Boy, it's okay. Uh, Let's call Robbie and say, Robbie, do you want the radiators replaced or not? I have to. Okay. Let me get give a tape measure? Yes. You do? Yes. A tape, really? Okay. Here we go. Let's take some measurements and let's sodomize your husband. Well, don't sodomize him. Why not? Because that's not part of the deal. Do you have any, um, I'm thirsty, I'm a little parched. No, not vodka. Do you have any, what kind of water do you have? Do you have ice too? I have ice. Oh, yes. I hear it. I have um, this, I have a sparkling water. Do you have water. any still water? I have still, I just have a bottle of water. I like, I like still water. I can have some ice cold still water. Do you have any aquapana? Oh my god, look, I have a water bottle that I'll put on ice for you. Okay. It's not the same. Well, what do you want me to how do? About, how about a nice. You have one of those cups that they play beer pong with? Those a red, red so, cup? A red solo cup? With vodka? No, not with vodka, with ice. No. Yeah. 
thinking. No, I don't have those. Okay. But I have like a. You have a disposable cup that's large in size. Like this. That works, yes. And I'll put okay. some ice in it. Ice Thank in you. It. And I'm going to measure your baseboard and the entire first floor. Yeah. Does this count as the first floor too? Yeah. Okay. This Let me go measure. Only 63 linear feet of baseboard slant fit number 30 with a bunch of left and right end caps. Uh, approximately, I don't know, six man hours to complete, you know, including the back cover, leaving the elements where there's a will, there's a way. We'll find that if he wants to do it once I give him the price for the job. Thank you so much for watching. Be well. God bless. If you guys remember, this is version... 4.0. This is my favorite, by the way. That's my favorite. This is version 3.0. Of course, version 2. And last but not least, the original, version 1. I am extending Cyber Monday's sale for the month of December. So you will get four stickers, all versions, for a donation of $10 to the postage fund. Details in the description box down below. I also got some hats. Look at this. Fresh off the press. A little bit different than the previous hat. This is a, uh, a stone wash blue. Again, fully embroidered, back and forth. Right, this is the flex fit hat. One size fits all, guys. You got a very, very tiny head, like a child. This is not for you, but there you go. Details in the description box down below. They finally arrived. And I really got to admit, it's really kind of proper. Look at that, see? If it's nice, it's nice, you know? It's a nicey nice hat. And you should be wearing one too and supporting the channel and Mikey Pipes. Details in the description box down below. Small donation of only about, I think, 30 or 35 bucks. I'll ship it anywhere in the United States. First class, sorry, priority mail by the post office. Details in the description box down below. You're not gonna find this hat or my stickers like this. You're not going to find these on teespring.com. You're not going to find it there. You're only going to be able to get it direct from me, Mikey Pipes, because I love you and you love me and we're one big happy family. All right, guys. I think I'm going to have a cigar now. I think I'm going to have a cigar. Let's see what kind of cigar should I have up in here. Guys, let's have a pick. Should I go with a Cohiba or Romeo and Julieta? Which one, guys? Which one? Hope you're enjoying this premiere. All right, guys. Love you. Be well. God bless. And if you want a magical pipe wrench, well, you should have done it a long time ago. Smash that dollar sign button. Mikey Pipe signing off. Good night.